today was really kind of a watershed moment. A local UFO expert is calling what happened today in D.C. extremely important. You see, former military members told Congress the federal government is secretly researching UFOs and evidence of aliens. Let's get right to Tommy Lopez on this one, because, Tommy, I mean, our state's history could be front and center in research like this. Right. New Mexicans have been a driving force behind these calls for transparency. Mm -hmm. And now members of Congress say they want to take action to get the federal government to reveal what it knows. Uh, today, three former military officials testified. They were under oath in front of members of Congress. They are now whistleblowers. They say the government has collected UFOs and found evidence of non-human bodies, a.k.a. aliens. One former intelligence officer says behind closed doors, he is revealing the names of specific people and programs. Multi-decade uh, UAP crash retrieval and reverse engineering program, uh, to which I was denied access. To As we convene here, UAP are in our airspace, but they are grossly underreported. These sightings are not rare or isolated. They are routine. Pilots are, uh, they say military members are discouraged from reporting possible sightings and that that should change. They believe the public needs to know about any UFO information for safety in the air, also for national security reasons. Yeah, and I mean, just to know for that matter. And Tommy, you know, in New Mexico, we have one of the leading civilian experts on UFO sightings. Yeah, David Marler. Last year, he took us inside his home in Rio Rancho. He has one of the largest private collections of UFO records in the country, thousands of documents. There's a long history of reports of UFO sightings around the world and of secret research programs. Heck, thousands still gather every year in New Mexico interested in the 75-year-old so-called Roswell incident. The rumors aren't new, but David Marler says these latest statements are something we have not seen before. Most of those reports are always coming from questionable sources, uh, primarily civilian sources. Uh, today was really kind of a watershed moment where we had a uh, House committee looking and listening to the testimony of credible individuals with military and or intelligence background. There are increasing calls for transparency to make the alleged research public. There is definitive momentum. It really has changed the complexion of the subject. It really has elevated the dialogue with regard to the UFO or what they call UAP. That's exciting to a guy like him. He spent more than 30 years studying them. We still must demand evidence. Uh, these are statements. These are claims. Tommy, uh, in just the last few months, there are more efforts to, to set up archives, and that's exactly what Marler's trying to do here. Yeah, he's working on creating a huge, first-of-its-kind public space in Albuquerque. It's a nonprofit with backing from Congress, and he wants to digitize everything. So anyone would be able to go to this website, the National UFO Historical Records Center website, to see this material. That's the goal. He says it would include video and audio that no one has ever seen or heard. And we should add the Pentagon has long denied and still does, even with today's testimony, any claims about secret research. So. We'll see where we go from here, Tommy. Thanks so much.